Hello there folks, these are the hands of me Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and here we have a table absolutely full of scout books as you can see. Um, if you haven't seen my other video then just have a quick look at one of the sort of standard covers. As you can see, nice simple design, uh, black and well, the basic cardboard of the cover. Um, and just if you're not aware of scout books, these are sort of super eco books I suppose. It's all recycled, uh, the ink is vegetable based which I've no idea how that works but well, it certainly does. Um, and, well, uh, interestingly, if you haven't seen uh, my other videos and my incredible notebook collection, then stay tuned. I will show you a quick clip of that later. But these are the uh, Meg Hunt designed covers on the Scout books. And these have been probably the most popular thing that people absolutely love, particularly this one. Um, and, yeah, it's just a very nice sort of brighter change to the standard notebooks that you get. So, anyway, in the theme of nice bright coloured notebooks, we have got another two sets. This is the Flora and Fauna uh, set, and uh, that's a set of blank notebooks, as is this, the Cosmos set, which uh, this one is designed by, let's have a look, Andrea Kalfaz, I believe is the pronunciation, and these are designed by Perrin. So, I suppose we'll dive in. Let's have a quick look at these first, as well. I am very much into my astronomy, as some of you may know. And, well, if we pop this open and have ourselves a quick look at these. Slide that sheet off. And, well, instantly, these are very nice once again. I mean, if you check out the uh, Scout Books website, which is rather handily scoutbooks.com, you'll uh, be able to see, obviously, all the range they have. And when it comes to their uh, artist design covers, they've all got a sort of... Well, you can see they've somehow got a common theme, and they're all very nice indeed. I, I, sort of, I don't know, I don't want to start saying words like sophistication or anything like that, but it's not like, I don't know, it's not like normal drawing, if you know what I mean. So, uh, as you can see, obviously, these are blank. Um, so if we have ourselves a look at the covers in general... I'm sure you don't want to see me go through loads of blank pages just to prove a point. That one I quite like, the cactuses. Hmm. And finally, I don't know, I'd say that one or that one. Now these are what I'm really interested to see. And if we pop these open, let's have a look. See, so I sneakily made a little slit in the uh, cellophane. That's a pro tip for any other uh, notebook types out there who want to do videos. And if we slide that off. Right, let's have ourselves a look. Oh, look at those. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. Now, we shall test my uh, knowledge of astronomy here. That is a Virgo, uh, judging by the shape. Yeah, definitely that part. And, well, I mean, look at that. Once again, these are uh, blank. But you know what? I absolutely love these already. <laughs> and once again, that is Capricorn as the main cover image there. Yeah, oh, fair play. These are absolutely. I mean, I really, really like these. <laughs> and well, if it's a dude carrying Medusa's head there, that can only be Perseus. And. The Perseids are a fantastic uh, meteor shower to watch uh, over the summer, so just keep your eye out for that, but I'll let you look that up yourself. Well, that's... Well, you know what? I think... I really like that. I really like the uh, gold on the dark background. That I'm a big fan of because I, I love the whole sort of mythology and the whole Greek uh, myth surrounding Perseus and going off to fetch me the head of Medusa and all that sort of stuff. But, well, once again, Scout Books, absolutely beautiful notebooks here. And, well, just a random side note. Uh, this is completely random and sort of unrelated, but I am absolutely loving my uh, Midori uh, Passport Size Traveller's Notebook at the minute. And I've discovered, in fact, I've got, a, uh, I've got a Midori book here, but if we have a look now, you will notice that... The Scout books are about maybe two millimetres taller than the Midori books. So these are going to become my new inserts for this. So obviously once I'm filling up the notebooks in here, suddenly you've got an awful lot more options than just the Midori range. 
and you've got an awful lot more sort of uh, brightly coloured designs that you can choose from. So that's just a note if you are a, a Midori fan like me. So like I say, there's plenty more notebook videos where this came from, and there's notebooks that aren't even on the shelf currently in my collection as well. Um, obviously you've got plenty of pens and bits and pieces like that. I'm in fact now refilling my fountain pen with a piston cartridge converter. So check out all my other videos for a load more like this. Check out scoutbooks.com for a load of excellent notebooks. I mean, I really like them, as you can probably tell. And well, until the next time, subscribe for more, like the Facebook page, and I'll see you around soon. Farewell.